In this video, I'm going to show you how to locate and download Landsat TM GeoTIFF images. These are the full resolution images and contain each of the different bands of light collected by Landsat. However, in order to view these files in a GIS, you're going to need to process them. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do here using Quantum GIS, a free open source GIS package. The first step is to go to the Globus website, which is the USGS's archive of Landsat imagery. To get there, you can either Google Glovis, G-L-O-V-I-S, or go to usgs.glovis.gov. Once you're there, it presents a little map of the United States or the world uh, up in the left-hand corner. And you can go to the different area that you're wanting by clicking on it in that map. Of course, the resolution is pretty low, so you can just get the general area there and then zoom in, uh, increase the resolution of that area, and add different layers like towns or roads or political boundaries. So here I'm going to add uh, towns and uh, borders which makes it easier to identify the right Landsat image. You can see nine different images up there. The one that it's highlighting is the one in the center. And I'm going to have it filter out by Landsat TM images. And these are the easiest to use without any correction. Of course, you can scroll through the different dates that the images were collected. Um, and you can also filter by the amount of cloud cover. Once you've found the image you want, uh, add that to your shopping cart. And you'll need to be logged into the USGS site, which is a free registration. And then it gives you four different options. And in this exercise, I want you to download the GeoTIFF image. This is a rather large file. And once it's downloaded, you're going to need to uncompress it using uh, an uncompression software like PKZip or WinZip, both of which are free, I believe. So here I'm exporting it from my I'm uncompressing it into a different folder. So I want to get all those files into the same folder. You'll notice there's a number of image files and also some text files which are part of the geocoding. Okay, now it's exporting, uncompressing into my folder. As soon as your files have finished uncompressing into that folder, you can go to your ArcMap program. And you're going to want to launch the Arc Toolbox. And you're going to look for a, a tool called Composite Bands. And this is located under Data Management Tools, Raster, Raster Processing, and then Composite Bands. And it's going to ask you to you for your input files and these will be all the TIFF images that were in that GeoTIFF folder that we just uncompressed. So you're going to highlight all the TIFF images and add those. Then it's going to ask you for a destination location. This is where it's going to put the composited files. I usually just put it in the same folder but label it composited. And from there it'll process the image 
and once it's done it'll appear in your data viewer and I'm going to change the bands to be a natural light which is 7, 4, 2 and because it has geolocation data in the file I can overlay a boundary file or roads or towns or whatever other layer I want in this case I'm going to use a boundary file this was obtained from the Census Tiger website and this is a, a district boundary for the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and you'll see by default that file comes in filled and so I'm gonna just have the wireframe and I'm gonna turn off the coloring inside I'm going to zoom in, and there you have it.